Hi, this is Jonathan. How are you guys doing? Welcome to the channel. It's that time of the year. I think it's a little bit late, a couple of days late, where I kind of like feature uh, some of the best guitars that I reviewed the previous year, which is the year 2023. All right. So here he is. These are the 15 um, guitars that I like the most in 2023. <coughs> Now the year 2023 was a fabulous year for me in terms of guitar reviews, even though I've cut down um, the frequency of my guitar reviews, which I hope will increase the quality of the videos that I present to you all. Uh, I want to thank a couple of guys who, uh, who actually supported this channel all this time and all these years, so who also supply guitars uh, to me for review. I want to thank um, City Music, Davis Guitar, um, Sweetie, Singapore, Guitar 77 Plus especially, Clement for letting me experience some of the guitars that I would never ever lay my hands on because of the price. <laughs> really great guitars. I want to thank Holly Benton for being so faithful to me all this time. I want to thank uh, Sijie Guitar for sending me guitars too for review. I want to thank the various companies like you know Origin Effects, Nuex you know for their wonderful support. So thank you guys. It was a good year because I wasn't touring a lot. I just did two shows and subsequently I stayed at home most of the time doing videos. Right, just to start off with the list of the 15 best guitars that I reviewed is this guitar that I uh, acquired from Clemen. I initially acquired another guitar, but I saw this guitar, took it home and reviewed it and fell totally in love with this guitar and I decided to procure it. Um, this is the... Um, James Tyler, uh, Studio Elite, James Tyler Japan, Studio Elite, with a flame maple top, you know, and um, I believe uh, maple neck and fretboard, really nice with the pickup configurations that I, I really dig uh, about James Tyler guitar, with the Goto 510 tremolo system and everything. So this guitar, I actually used it uh, for a couple of gigs, and I totally am in love with this guitar. This is one guitar that I would not ever let go. The second on the list is the Schecter Aaron Marshall AM6. Now, despite its metal-looking kind of outlook on the guitar, it does really uh, present a very nice appearance, you know, in, in terms of its smooth contour. Um, it looks like a heavy metal guitar, but this guitar is really nice. Uh, sounds really warm. You know, have nice fretboard, you know, with really fast neck, you know, if you choose to shred if you want to. I thought the guitar was really versatile in, in terms of uh, the many genres of music that, you know, any average guitar player would play, not just metal. So this is one guitar that I kind of like, and I believe some of, most of you do like this guitar too, judging from the views of this video too.
guitar on the list is the GNL Flutin Deluxe A Set Classic. So this guitar uh, represents every aspect of a good Telecaster. Um, not by Fender, but because, you know, as you all know the history of GNL, you know, Leo Fender founded the uh, company. So as many aspects of the old Telecaster, uh, iconic Telecaster design, but in with improvement, especially with the MFD pickups, uh, the rounded off edge on the side, you know, so it's really comfortable, a really comfortable tally to play. A uh, really nice neck and, you know, with all the appointments that you would expect from a traditional uh, Telecaster and more. So um, I, I thought that this this uh, guitar sounded really good. It has that twang. It features that that bridge that uh, GNL comes up with where you can't, you know, everything is like, uh, you know, you can actually tighten all the uh, the saddles once you have your uh, uh, intonation set and it increases the sustain of the whole bridge system. I, I thought that was pretty, pretty neat. So it's a great guitar to have you into country, even the blues or even into rock or pop. <music> Fourth guitar on the list is from Harley Benton, and this is from the 25th anniversary um, celebration. So this is the uh, 25th anniversary uh, Fire Mist Stratocaster, and I, I thought this guitar was um, really a good guitar to, to to have and to procure because of the cost. It's really affordable, but yet it's really well made. I think Harley Benton hit a home run again uh, with this guitar, with the appointments of this guitar, stainless steel frets and everything. Comes with a gig bag and other you know stuff, and then the the, uh, the pickups are really nice. They have a stacked single coil on the bridge, uh, working uh, tremolo system. I I actually. Yeah, I actually did a lot with the tremolo system. I whacked the heck out of it, and it stayed in tune. It's a great guitar for uh, any gigs. Like you know, if you if you choose how to bring your expensive guitar to a place like Mongolia or outer, you know, outer Mongolia, you know, where the weather is extreme and you don't want your precious guitar, this is a guitar to bring up to because I think uh, it's really really good and I sound really good, play really good. And again, I say it's affordable, so you know, what's not to love? is from one of my favorite guitar uh, makers, Ernie Ball, Music Man Ernie Ball, but this is a Sterling series, so this is from Indonesia. Nevertheless, 
great guitar. I enjoy myself playing on this guitar because of its roasted maple uh, neck as well as the fretboard. And it has a really good tremolo system that I, I really love. You know, I always loved the tremolo system that was installed in Music Man guitars. And the pickups, single, single, double, the humbuckers works, you know, it sounded really, really good. The whole guitar, in fact, the whole package is a really nice guitar to have. And it's not terribly expensive because it's from the Sterling series. Um, something to, to think at, you know, something to look at if you're looking for a nice super strat kind of a format uh, with a, you know, with, from a renowned uh, guitar maker like Ernie Ball. Six is something that I always wanted to try but didn't have the opportunity. So this is from Sir, this is from Guitar Sir and 7 Plus. And this is a tally. So this is the uh, Sir Classic T Deluxe. So Sir Classic Tally Caster Deluxe. And all the appointments are really refined, like you know, they're in gold hardware. You know, they have really nice uh, tally pickups um, from Sir. And I think that the thing that got me was the neck. The whole construction of the neck, with I think it's a bit of a but but size maple, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, nice, comfortable neck, but apart from that, it just sounds so tallish. <laughs> really great uh, tally caster uh, sound from it. You can rock out with it if you want because the pickups are relatively quiet uh, due to the you know noise cancelling. Um, mojo that's happening within Sir Guitar. So there's a system that they develop. Uh, really quiet guitar, but you know, it has that twang, has everything about it. I, I enjoy myself playing on this wonderful guitar uh, from Sir. Number seven is this guitar from Fender. Now this is the Fender Player Plus Nashville Telecaster. Um, I first heard of the Nashville Telecaster many, many, many years ago where I go like, what in the heck is a Fender or rather a Nashville Telecaster? So I found out that it's basically like a Strat, single, single, humbucker, or single, 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 you know, but in a Tele configuration. And I thought that was pretty interesting. And well, I, I, I was presented with this guitar to review from Sweetie, Singapore. And um, wow, it's a great guitar to have. You know, really nice um, uh, appointments, basically. This is a Player Plus series, so it's not too shabby. Uh, the neck plays well, and the pickups, everything just sounded 
good. I, I think, um, yeah, it's, it's a good guitar to to procure if you're looking for a Nashville Telecaster. But it's also a good guitar for some of you guys who want to look for a Strat but don't want to play around with the wangy bar, the wangy bar or the tremolo system. This is something to look at. It just sounds really, really nice. And that's why I love it so much. So number eight on the list is the Michael Caddy 53DB. Right? So this is basically a Telecaster with two humbuckers for the bridge as well as for the neck. Um, I like this guitar because of the fact that it has a maple neck, a really nice Koto top, um, kind of vernier. After all, this is a Michael Kelly, so this is also a very affordable guitar to have. Um, apart from its electronics and everything which works perfectly, is the pickup, the SWC pickups that they have, the humbuckers. I found it to be really warm sounding. This is one of the uh, nicest, um, but this, I don't think you can qualify this as a Telecaster after all, but it's nice, you know, you, you can have the twang if you want to, and there's a, a uh, split call or a call tap, and you get kind of like the, the you know, middle position of a Telecaster. So the guitar is very versatile, nice guitar. <music> It's a guitar from Tom Anderson. This is a Tom Anderson Cobra S. A very interesting guitar because from the first look, it looks like a Stratocaster, but with a skill length of 23 and 3 quarter inch. Uh, I had, I mean, Clement passed it to me. It was strung with 0 tens. It doesn't feel like 0 tens at all. It feels like 0 9 because it's a skill length. It's easy to play, and yet has that, you know, the characteristic of a Stratocaster. So it's a really interesting combination. I like everything about it, uh, the, the way it feels. I think it's a great, comfortable guitar for those guys who don't want to have too much or too heavy a gauge on it, on, the, on the Stratocaster. And this is a good uh, alternative if you can afford the price range. Um, but great guitar after all, and a very interesting guitar to play. So I love it.
10 is a guitar from Chevelle. Uh, this guitar was presented to me for review from Sweetie or so, um, made in Korea. So as you all might not know or might know that Chevelle is part of Fender Company, but uh, everything you see here is reminiscent of the Fender Company because you have the Fender Hitstock. Stratocaster hit style, but everything else is different. I, I, I thought the quality is really, really good. Um, I particularly like the ash body that it has with red, which is one of my favorite color, with all the grains still touchable, feelable, and the pickups, right? So, Seymour Duncan pickups, and of course, the uh, tremolo system, which is a 510 but with a recess. So, I, I like that. I like, like that. I like that a lot. Um, and Quality, the quality of this guitar is exceptional. It just is a very, very, very good quality guitar and sounds great. I have fun playing with it because I thought this is the ultimate rock guitar. I was so tempted to keep this. Uh, but unfortunately, um, well, I don't think I have the space for it, you know, so <laughs> I decided not to procure it. But I'm guessing that this will be a decision that I might regret yeah, later on. But anyway, it's a great guitar to have. is also from Sweetie. This is from Fender. This is the Fender Coma. Not the Coma Custom Shop, but just the plain Coma. Which also costs a little bit, right? Uh, costs a bit, yeah. And uh, this is, of course, from Michael Landau. Um, it's a replica of Michael Landau's original Coma guitar. Now, I've got a lot of um, comments from a lot of people. Why do they have that recess for the fart rose when you don't have a fart rose and stuff like that? And I try to explain to them time and time again, as I'm going to do now, this is a replica of Michael Landau's guitar. So it's either you're a fan of Michael Landau or you are not, in which case you won't get it. So. Um, I love playing on this guitar because it features a 7.25 fret radius, old school. Uh, the action is kind of high as, you know, as Michael Landau would have it. And I'm so used to playing with high uh, action too. I love the guitar. It just feels at home. Um, the pickups, yeah, you know, I, I didn't quite like the humbucker, but it suffices for this guitar because it just sounds, it just feels nice and just it just sounds it just sounds right for this guitar right um for me i i enjoy myself playing on this guitar per se i just like how i i navigate myself through the fretboard and and the sound i'm able to 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 emit from the tremolo system as well as from various pickups so i like this guitar a lot and i think from the uh the views a lot of you guys too
Love is a guitar from Sijie, uh, from China. So Sijie is one of the premier uh, guitar makers from China, and they have kindly sent me this guitar for review. Now this is a tally, right? Tally shape, but with a very good uh, or very exceptional uh, difference. P90s, and not just one, two P90s. So it has a different uh, feel to this whole uh, tally sound that I envisioned when I picked up the guitar and played. Now, I found out that the guitar was really well made. You know, you have brass saddles, the appointments for the neck is all really, really nice. Um, but it's the pickup that got me. Uh, I, I, I just thought the pickup sounded exceptionally good, you know, um, with this configuration. And even though there's no, like, uh, split call or anything like that, it just sounds right, you know. Knowing the fact that the P90s is more or less a supercharged hum, uh, single call, so it's still sounds have the it still has a characteristic of a single call but it's nice you know in the middle position you can still get a tally quack if you want to for funk but i just like the neck position as well as the bridge because if you can rock out with this guitar you can rock out with this guitar with the p90s no problem so it's a great guitar to have Thirteen is a guitar that was passed to me by Clement from Guitar Sense Seven Plus. So this is the um, Nick Huber Piet P I E T, and I thought this guitar was really pretty, even though it cost yeah it cost it cost, but a really well made guitar, um, incredible guitar maker Nick Huber. But I just like the whole aesthetic of it. You know, it, it's really for me. It's uh, organic. It's, it, it, it looks organic and sounds organic. So basically this guitar uh, features a, a maple neck, uh, all, an outer body, but it's the pickups that I was really impressed with. So it features a wholesale golf or uh, P90 for the bridge as well as a wholesale uh, broad uh, neck single call for the neck and also a KMS uh, jam offset bridge with a tremolo bar. I thought this whole thing works really, really well and the guitar plays exceptionally comfortably, um, uh, beautifully, and uh, just a joy to play, you know, to, to glide around, to explore your, your, your fretboards and, and, and the notes that you want to play and you want to uh, project, you know, a great musical guitar, yeah, to say the least.
Number 14 is a guitar that I've been dying to, to lay my hands on for many, many years. This is the Yamaha SA2200, uh, a semi-hollow guitar or semi-solid. Semi-hollow, right? So nice guitar, you know. I, I've I've always loved the three three fives from Gibson. Uh, I myself own a Tokai three three five ish kind of a guitar. Um, you know, there is uh, there are like guitars from um, Sire. You know, the Larry Carlton three three five take. But is this this is this is the real thing? This is the SA twenty two hundred, which sounds. In my opinion, way better than most of these uh, semi-hollow guitars that I reviewed so far, including the uh, Harley Benton, which I think is an exceptional guitar for it because of its price. It sounds great for its price, but this is a class of its own, the SA2200. Um, it plays beautifully, but I think it's a look. <laughs> the guitar just grabs you and say, look at me, you know, <laughs> just shaking you and say, look at me. So it's the look of the guitar as well as the sound. It's a combination of both uh, that kind of impressed me, like, you know, Hey, this is the guitar to own if I have to, you know, uh, money, you know, the money. So it, it, it's a great guitar to, to own. Basically, it sounds great. It feels great. Guitar plays really well with gold hardware and everything, which is a no-no for you if you have sweaty palms. But guys, for guys like me who don't have perspiration on their palms, it's a good guitar. So something to look at. Last but not least, number 15 is my own signature guitar. Now, I'm so blessed to have two signature guitars. Uh, the first one was from Pauletti, Italy, uh, which is a John Cole signature Pauletti, and this one from Xu. Now, Xu is a guitar maker from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Great guy, Ray. So, um, we had corresponded um, a year ago, I guess, and it was back and forth. So, finally, the guitar was ready for... Uh, for collection, I, I collected it and I was flabbergasted. It was it was more than what I imagined it would be. Um, great guitar um, with exotic uh, appointments for its wood and everything. Go ahead and take a look at the video that I did. It's got great neck, you know, stainless steel frets, you know, um, beautiful tuners from Goto and the Goto, um, you know. Tremolo system, which I really love. This is like the higher end. Um, I I've uh, sent the guitar back uh, for some further modification, so I'm gonna have the guitar back soon, pretty soon, you know. So watch out for the next review or the next video concerning this beautiful, lovely, lovely guitar of mine, which is the Xu John Ko signature model.
you can have a look at the various guitars that she has to offer if you follow the link in the description. So all the links of these guitars that I've presented to you in this video are all stated in the description box. So if you guys are interested, take a look at the individual uh, videos and also the individual video links to how you can get them, how you can procure them. All right. Um, like I said, uh, 2023 was a really good year for me and I was so blessed to be able to lay my hands on some of these wonderful guitars. Um, I, 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 I praise God because I have this beautiful job where I can, it's considered a job, but for me it's more like a passion where I can play guitars that few people have the opportunity to. And um, yeah, I want to thank God for it. I want to thank you guys for supporting me all these years, uh, for me to continue this channel. Uh, knowing for the fact that you know that I'm doing something that uh, helps people, yeah. So, I hope you enjoy this uh, review of the 15 uh, guitars that I really like in the year 2023. And if you do like this video, give me a thumbs up, right? Subscribe to this channel, press that bell for notification of future videos to follow. Be part of the patrons to support this channel. I need your support, guys. So be part of the patrons. Um, I want to thank all my patrons for the wonderful support all this time. Thank you so much. So, take care of yourself, and I'll see you real soon. Ciao!